There are two preferences that need to be configured in order to use a shared project workflow. It's important that each workstation running Premiere have these settings turned on prior to using shared projects. The first setting is found under Preferences Collaboration. Check the box to enable project locking. In the Username field, type a unique name for each workstation. What that name is is up to you and your team. For some, using names like Edit Bay 1 or Edit Bay 2 may make the most sense. Just know that this is the name displayed on others' computers when you have a project locked. It's helpful if the name makes it easy to find and contact the other editor in case the project needs to be unlocked for something urgent. The second setting is found under Preferences Media. Click the box to hide dependent clips. This is important so that when you're cutting between projects, there aren't a lot of duplicate bin items appearing. Each Premiere Pro project maintains a reference to any master clips in the timeline, but turning this on will hide those references by default. This won't prevent you from deliberately dragging and dropping a master clip from one project to another. That will be visible. But anything loaded into the source monitor from one project and cut into a sequence in a different project will remain hidden. These references can easily be shown if needed by right-clicking in the bin and choosing View Hidden. With these two settings turned on, you're ready to begin using a shared project workflow.